Hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at the headquarters of Endo Custom Guns with Marty and his dog <laughs> that is sitting right here. Right here. So he's being there, being our, our mascot today. And we're talking about something old from CZ. And by the way, it's hard with my accent for me to say that. So I'm gonna call it Charlie Zulu from now on. Okay. So it's a whole lot easier than, because people say, what are you talking, what are you saying? I can't pronounce it, okay, give me a break. <laughs> Before we do this, I'd like to ask you to please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so we may continue to bring you content like this. Hey, this is not one of the new plastic fantastic guns Yeah. from ZZ. We have- It's an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. An, an original. Um, it's brand new, okay, mm -hmm. it's not old, is a 75B, which has the, what's the B stand for? What's the uh, firing, firing pin safety? I, I'm not I'm not as familiar with CCs as far as their models go, so uh, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I, I need to find out, but this one is brand spanking new. It even has a little barcode in there, and we're going to peel that off in mm -hmm. a second. So... We're gonna do an overlook, a uh, first look at it because I haven't had one of these in many, many moons. I'll show some pictures on the screen of one that I had in 2013 that I did for a Japanese magazine. It was a nickel plated one, electroless nickel, matte electroless nickel. And when you look at the import marks said Magnum Research. Okay. So yeah. that was a long time ago. And we took it to the ZZ Custom Shop here in Mesa and they took it and they put all their parts. Uh, Eric, their gunsmith there, mm -hmm. um, when I came in that morning, I did photography of him installing the parts and he had in his table all the parts he was gonna replace. He replaced every spring and, uh, and replace it with all their own parts. Okay. And they make a good selection of parts for this model. Back in those days, they only had one or two things. Now they have all sorts of things, but one thing Marty and I were talking is one thing we don't like about this pistol. The grips are okay. They're plastic grips. It's that these things are put together with <laughs> Phillips, Phillips head screws. Phillips head screws. Yeah. And I'm like, I know this <laughs> comes from the old days of the mm -hmm. behind the iron curtain. There were some of these that I wanted to buy and I missed out. They had original 75s without being the B, whatever that is. I don't even know. Somebody will tell me in the... Um, in the comments below what the B stands for. But instead of saying made in the Czech Republic, like this one, it said made in Czechoslovakia. Hmm. That country yeah. hasn't existed since 1989, that's when the, when the wall fell. Yeah. Um, and I'm making him feel too young, because <laughs> were you alive back then? Uh, what, you're 89? 89. I was nine years old, there you go. Okay, there you go. So. <laughs> Marty was just barely nine years old when yeah. the wall fell. I was around, I was old. But um, this is kind of cool. So what do we have? How are we gonna replace the screws? We're gonna replace the grips too. We have lock grips. Lock grips makes, I, it was insane. I went to look at the ZC75 part of their page. Mm -hmm. It was 13 pages long mm. of different models and colors and shapes and I, I picked up the Mayhem, which is Mayhem, check that out. It is like a big mess of shapes and they have the palm swells too. It's very grippy. Yeah. It is very grippy. I mean, you, you can't, uh, the, the color doesn't do it justice because in his hand, I can't even see all the texture that's going on in this thing. So but they it, have them in all sorts of colors and shapes and they're all made of G10. They make them in, uh, you name it. Yeah. And then if you want the insert, this part here to be a different color, they can do that for you too. So one cool thing about them, they always with every grip, of course they'll send you a sticker, which is kind of cool, but they will also send two screws. With the, the O-rings. Yeah. With the O-rings. These are Torx screws mm -hmm. with the O-rings. So Marty, let's go ahead and put these on. Um, I know that changing grips is something that you could do at home. These are pretty much drop in, mm -hmm. uh, but let's go have him here with Marty so I'll get, him, get his opinion on the grips and his opinion, of course, on the Phillips head screws. <laughs> this is insane, I mean. Yep. But then again, they're being true to the original design 
And no, this is uh, these have always been these have always been great pistols. I mean, uh, you know, the CZ70, especially the 75B. I, I think I probably like them a little bit more than, or at least, like I say, I don't know why it's designated B, but as far as this pistol goes, it's probably one of the better ones, in my opinion, they ever made. Um, I know they've gotten into some more complex parts down in in the fire control, which is why I consider them such a pain in the butt. But uh, as far as these go, these are actually really good, really excellent guns. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. Gary up at Dillon picked up one of the one of those surplus guns mm -hmm. for peanuts because if you were looking through when they can't come out, mm -hmm. they came out of Israel, they came out of mm -hmm. different places in in Europe, and he picked one up. Looks like hammered dog poop, mm -hmm. but um, he just replaced a bunch of parts and shooting three gun with it. Mm -hmm. So, and the magazines are dirt cheap and available everywhere so let's okay. do it okay so once again first thing we've done is make sure the gun's clear no magazine no bullets in the chamber right and phillips head so we're just gonna pull the grips off the phillips head screwdriver you know found it kind of amusing that they're still doing that but i i guess it's a classic right oh yeah it's a classic and yeah and these are classic yeah and this thing is definitely new because I mean I'm pulling the I'm pulling the, the grips off here and you're just seeing the oil underneath, right? And Marty doesn't like oil. It's not to say that you can't have it, but it's just uh it's unsightly, right? And could collect dust. And then so wanna make sure those line up, right? So you can see I kinda had to snap those into place, right? They kinda they fit in nice and tight, right? That hole is just a little offset, and then we're just gonna put a O-ring here. And explain, Marty, why the O-rings? The O-ring, the O-rings, one, help the screws bottom out, right? Uh, it, it puts a little tension on the grip, right? Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, it, it keeps the screw from backing out. Okay. So that's actually another, that's actually another, oh, wrong thing here. That's actually another good thing about it is, is that, uh, uh, it, it just keeps the screw from twisting out, right? So uh, in lieu of Loctite, you put in an O-ring. Um, and it doesn't have to be expressly tight, but, you know, tight enough, right? And, you know, that's, that's kind of it. Same thing here. We're going to go in, put the O-ring on. And I just kind of stuck it on the screw there, if you can see it. And... Let's put this in here, and this was a, what is this? This is a, uh, screws provided, these are T20 Torx, so they're a little larger than uh, kind of the, the ones that you usually see in the industry, like a uh, T15 or a T10. And you're not putting the, you know, the see my, Did you see my fingertips? But that That's what I'm using to torque this with a tiny screwdriver. Right, and you know, I, I could get in here and really crank in on this, but I don't really need to. And uh, the main thing is the O-rings are gonna eat up some of that, right? And you know, in the event that they loosen up, I mean, they're not really gonna back out anywhere, but my gosh, those things are, those are, those are, grippy. those are grippy, right? Especially on my fingers here, right? I don't really feel it on my, on my palms as much, but it, those are, the, <laughs> those are something right there. So yeah, they, they, they like, they wanna stick. So you can't you can't see it as well with the pattern here. Maybe you can on camera, but uh, the way those stick, those actually stick really well. But now you have uh, at least I I would consider that an upgrade, right? And then uh, you know, and, and the grip is uh, definitely because the yeah. palm swells mm -hmm. fill up your hand really well. Yeah, no, those are those are those are quite comfortable, and they're not they're not so aggressive. They don't feel like they're gonna tear your skin off. But uh, yeah, those are. Those are those are pretty cool. I, I like those uh, lock grips. Very, lock grips, yeah, yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we were discussing. There's two upgrades here: the grips and the screws. Mm -hmm. And like I said, every time you buy a new set of grips, you get a new set of screws. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. One more thing I want to do is like, take this <laughs> barcode off. Um, brand new gun, to the point that. It's all sticky and gummy, but I'll clean that up with a little denature alcohol later. Mm -hmm. But ready to take it to the range, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they feel great. 
you feel them in your fingertips, like Marty said. Here, in the palm of your hand, you don't feel them. I know it, they're grippy. But on the tips of your fingers, mm -hmm. you do feel the, yeah. the, the love. Yeah, if you, if you had a gloved hand on, the, there's, no, there's no chance that that glove wouldn't fill up that, that little space there and be stuck. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, those are this, this really thing. cool. And a bunch of upgrades we can do this. We discussed about doing upgrades to it. We're going to get some ZZ Custom Shop parts, mm -hmm. and we'll start from the start with sights okay. first, and then go from them on. I, I know that they do have, for their higher-end pistols, we can convert this to single action only. Mm. They sell mm -hmm. a single action only trigger. Right. And... Thumb, bigger thumb safety mm -hmm. and hammer and all sorts of things. Yeah. So we'll upgrade it very slowly like we did in 1911. Okay. Instead of dropping all that cash onto one project, we're going to go week ahead and do week. it. Okay. Week after every other couple of weeks, we'll get parts, we'll assemble them, mm -hmm. and then we'll go from there. All right. Thanks, Marty. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. And there is Double Lot Bach, mm -hmm. the, our 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 pet, and he's looking at me going like, why are you touching me? Um, guys, thanks for watching. Please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range.